Angie. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to unbox Dragon Charmer. It's a Josephine Wall licensed kit from the one with the diamond art. And here's what I ordered on the screen. Isn't she so pretty and cute? I just think this is just an awesome image. Anyway, so this unboxing is a combination of two different recordings and you'll see why as we go through. But overall, everything looks great and I can't wait to get started and kit this one up. Today, we're going to be looking at a package that I ordered January the 25th that showed up yesterday, which yesterday would have been March the 4th. I know I ordered this during, uh, I think, the Chinese New Year lockdown in Hong Kong. So there might have been a, there was a small delay because of that. Normally shipping to Canada for the one with the diamond art is supposed to be about two to two to four weeks. So it's kind of in that zone. So this is the outer package and I'm just going to slice it off. It's kind of, kind of gummy, but it's protecting the inside, right? And this was dropped on my doorstep yesterday in the rain. Such is life, right? And it looks like it's been crushed. But diamond paintings are fairly robust, right? They're not gonna break. Just doesn't have a pretty collector box. Looks like it's kind of had a bit of a headache. We could have done. Maybe they need to get a little bit stronger of a box. That's pretty crushed, you know, presentationally. <clears throat> so, <coughs> excuse me, there should be two kits in here. And I'm just not sure if they're all wrapped up together. Oh dear. Okay. <coughs> and that's it for that box. That'll go in the recycle bin. So let's see what we've got going on here. So I again, I have two kits in here. So I think I am going to show you one at a time. So I'll just pause that while I set that up. Okay, I've gone ahead and split out the two kits. Um, today I'm going to show you what I think is the Josephine Wall kit. I ordered Dragon Charmer. It's supposed to be 60 by 80 square with ABs. Okay, so I'm very excited to get this and I know it's printed in black and white. The back is quite soft. Um, oh boy, look at this. This looks interesting. This is the legend on the side. And it is scalloped on the edges. There's their business card. There we are. This out of the way. And we'll roll this out. I don't think there's going to be a lot to see because I I knew it had a white a white plastic cover rather than and I probably wrinkled that because it wasn't wrinkled before because I did a bad job rolling it back up to show you guys. I don't I don't know. I mean, do you guys want to see me unroll it? I don't know. Did you want to see the back? I think you do. So it looks like it's poked to prevent fraying. You know, um, there's sparkle on the canvas. There's some sparkle in there on the white. So that's a lot of codes. I wonder how many there are. Ooh, two lists of codes. Wow. Interesting. I always love a challenge. This is good. Challenges are good as long as they turn out well. So this is the massive packages of drills. And it looks like there's lots in here. I like that they connected them together with an elastic, so I knew which ones would be which. Well, I.e. the other kit's round and it's in its own package of drills. Let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at this sheet it doesn't appear to be coming with any stickers that's disappointing and it looks like I'm going to have to ask them to reprint this 
because I can't even make stickers from my sheet because it came with references in the codes. So I won't be able to pick this one up. I will have to email them. I'm sure that they will just send me the PDF of this, which suit, I'm, I'm gonna ask them to because that suits me fine because then I'll just get take it to Staples or somebody and get them to print it right on sticker paper for me so I don't even have to run it through my Xyron. But let's see how many codes there are. 229 colors. And it's telling me also how many drills there are per color, which is good. Because if I wanted to think about doing any kind of extra replacements, then I would know approximately how many I need. Because normally you'll see this kit's in black and white. Um, normally I would, I would eyeball areas but because it's black and white I can't do that so I think that this is going to be very helpful to use and then she's really pretty she's just really cute I've got a bad shadow on my camera today I think it's from coming from the window anyway yeah super cute I'm not going to go through all of the drills but let's take a look. I see some ABs in here. Let's take a look at these. This is, I don't know what that says. 820? Is there an 820? 820 AB? I think it's 820. It's kind of hard to read. I think it is. Let me put my glasses on. Maybe I'll be able to see it better. Yeah, I think it's 820. Let's throw some in a tray and see what they look like. We'll get into the toolkit later. Toolkits don't really excite me, so I'll, I'll look at it, but it's not a thing for me. And that's their drills, that's the ABs. I think it is 820 and that's kind of a blue color, so that makes sense. That's pretty. There's quite a bit of coating on those. You don't see any trash. So that's good, as I'm flinging them everywhere. Um, let's see what other colors are in here that could be ABs. That interests me. We have a dark green AB, a little bit of, I don't know, is that a 904? 904. Mm, yes, there is a 904 in this DMC. And I'll provide feedback on these issues, you know. Yeah, those are really nice looking. Really nice looking, very nice. I'm not seeing a bunch of trash in here. All the ABs appear to be together. I think it's just this person that wrote these bags has funny uh, writing. This is 3078 AB. Uh, 3844, maybe? AB. There's quite a few in here, so that's good. Some 775. A little bit of white. Don't know what number that is. Is that supposed to be a 310? Is that a 310? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll be able to tell by the grams, but no, the drills, it's the number of drills, not um, the grams. And there's no 310 in this kit, unless the ABs are on are the ABs listed? I'm pretty sure that's black. Yeah, okay, so I could match them up using the end of the list because the ABs are all listed here. And yeah, 310 AB, that's what those are. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ABs. Wow, there's more in here. I wonder if I can see them. 
Oh, there's another pretty green. Another pretty green. What else is there? These are not, don't appear to be in order. So you're going to have to sort them. But again, I don't have a sheet that I can make stickers out of. So until I do that, I will just leave it. And it could be, the rest of them could be in here. So I think we'll leave that for now. So I'm not gonna pull out 229 bags, but you kind of get the gist. Oh, there's another green. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's that, that's all of them there. This is not a giant kit either. This is 60 by 80. So kind of like if you're used to the Diamond Art Club sizing, 56 by 76, which is, you know, to me it's not large. It's sort of a bigger medium. Let's call it that, a big medium kit. So I have no way to show you where these are. So let's take a look at the tool kit before we move forward comes in this pretty organza bag and there are several multi-placers, some washi tape, back in the bag as we go, uh, a pen and the squishy, We've got a couple of different types of wax, some extra bags, I'm not sure what for because it's already in bags, but yeah, standard stuff. Um, some metal tweezers. These little bags and a small, a small boat. So let's take a look. Now the reveal. I'm not going to pull the whole thing back because there's probably no point. It's going to be hard to read. And yeah, it's got this white release paper. And you know what? I actually don't mind that instead of a clear sheet. Because I think if you were looking at this, it would give you a headache because it is massive confetti. You know, it's a, it's a Diamond painting Deutschland confetti nightmare, right? But it does have grid lines. You can see it. The printing looks clear. You know, I don't see any printing issues on here. And let's check that this is sticky. Well, it's good sticky. It's kind of far over the edges though, so I'll have to line it with washi tape because it's quite, it's all the way over here. Which kind of nullifies my idea of well, taking this to Staples and getting them to copy it and make me stickers on the edge of the canvas. They're not going to be able to do that with the glue up to the edges. Um, yeah, I'm sure they'll send me the new PDF sheets. So what I think I will do, because there's no, like, I did the Diamond Painting Deutschland kit with... Um, and it has grid squares on it, like the cross-stitch conversion kits have. So you can see a square. What I think I will do is I will take, for example, this is just the stuff that I have nearby. I'm going to take my release paper and make my own square as I go. So I'm probably going to work on a section that would be probably like this and uh, yeah that big at a time I don't know what that is in centimeters or what let's see that is three perfectly <laughs> three by three it's exactly three by three yeah I've done this before how can you tell so that'll be what I work on a three by three square and I'm assuming this is the bottom because the printing is this way. The kit has is licensed and there's their socials down here. They have, we looked at that. They have printed down here. 
the name of the kit and, the, and that it's Josephine Wall and their logo. And the legend is on both sides, which is helpful um, if you need it. I don't work off the legend. I work off the boxes because I'm not working off DMC code, but it's still handy to have there if ever you needed it. So yeah, that is Dragon Charmer. And uh, that's, it's white. There's nothing more for me to say. So I'll get back to you with the response on reprinting the sheets for me or sending me new PDFs so I can make stickers. Hi guys. It's the following weekend, but I did get an answer back from the one with the diamond art the same day. I just didn't have a chance to do this recording. So here are all the sticker sheets. Well, I'm actually not sticker sheets, but they're PDFs that I can easily convert to sticker sheets, either by printing them out on sticker paper or running them through my Zyron sticker uh, tool uh, that I, I know everybody has those or has seen those. But anyway, worry about that another day. But they were super responsive guys, so I have no concerns around that. The customer service seems to be really, uh, really good. So check it out, yeah. So thank you for watching this unboxing and please drop by and like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys again soon, bye.